Hello students, this is Santosh Kumar Echui. I am your course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. We were discussing module number 1 that is Metal Cutting Theory and Dynamometry and today we will discuss about topic Types of Metal Chips. Three types of chips formation which will happen that is continuous chip, discontinuous chip and chip with built up edge and these types of chip get influenced by these parameters that is workpiece material, tool geometry and cutting conditions. By changing these parameters you can change the type of chip formation. Now we will discuss different types of chips one by one. So here this is the continuous chip so as you can see there is a continuous ribbon like chip which is formed that is the continuous chip and then you have a discontinuous chips and there is a small segments of chips which is being formed and then you have a continuous chip with built up edge. So first we will start with continuous chip. The continuous chip formation will happen when we machine the ductile material like low carbon steel, copper, brass and aluminium alloys. A continuous ribbon type chip is formed. The pressure of the tool plastically deforms the material ahead of the cutting edge in compression as well as shear. So in this case there is a compression so this is the shear plane ahead of this there is a compression zone which is there compression is taking place and this is where shear is taking place and ahead of shear plane that is here the primary deformation zone and then after the shear plane on the rake surface is a secondary deformation zone. Both these zones and sliding of chip on the rake face produce heat. This increase the temperature of the tool chip interface and thus increase the temperature of the cutting tool. So there is a primary deformation zone, secondary deformation zone and there is a heat formation which is taking place. And primary deformation zone depends on rake angle of the tool cutting speed, work material characteristics, friction on rake faces. The transition of work material into chip and material suffers less de overall deformation with increase in rake angle. So what is rake angle? We will discuss that when we discuss about nomenclature of cutting tool. When as the rake angle is increased, so that is we have obtained large rake angle, transition of work material into chip is gradual. As we increase the cutting speed, the thickness of primary deformation zone shrinks. And as we play with the work material characteristics like strength, strain hardening, strain rate and heat conductivity, the size of the primary zone gets affected and friction on rake faces increases the size of both primary and secondary deformation zone. So this is about continuous chip. So we will discuss about continuous chip with built up edge. As we discussed in continuous chips because of the chip tool interface as there is a friction between the chip and the tool, there is a high temperature which is developed at the interface between chip and the tool. Also work material slides under heavy pressure on rake face before being transformed into free chip. Therefore in these conditions some portion of the chip sticks to the rake face of the tool. So as you can see in the figure. They say some portion of the tool is 
getting attached to the chip. Because of such a close contact, it discharges its heat to the tool and thus becomes stronger than the rest of the material flowing over it. Naturally, it attracts more of deforming work material and thus the size of built up edge goes on increasing as the chip is sliding over the rake surface. But once it reaches a critical size, it is no longer stable and portion of it disintegrate and either get embedded on the machine surface as you can see in the figure or get attached to the underside of the flowing chip. This cycle of building up of and breaking of built up edge happens periodically and machine surface gets dotted with a portion of broken built up edge. The resultant is poor surface finish. <coughs> Excuse me. By increasing the speed, I can play with the built up edge. So once I increase the speed, the built up edge softens. So there at higher speeds, the built up edge completely disappears. Next we will discuss about discontinuous chip. This happens in case of when we machine the brittle materials like cast iron and brasses containing higher percentage of zinc. The chip formation mechanism in this case is quite different from that of a ductile materials. Very slight plastic deformation produced by small advance of cutting edge into the job leads to crack formation in the deformation zone. As you can see at this place where the crack initiation will take place and then it will propagate and then to the surface of the chip. As the tool moves further this sequence is repeated. So that is once this is propagated to the surface there is a breaking of chip taking place and then this is a small segment of a chip and then this cycle keeps on repeating as the tool moves further. So the resultant is not a continuous chip but a discontinuous chip. So as I said earlier the type of chip formation get influenced by cutting condition. So by changing the cutting conditions I can change the type of chip formation even in case of brittle material, I can obtain continuous chips.